Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different tabletop game every weekday at 1.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Kickstarter and give my honest thoughts on how that's being ran. And today I'm very excited to be checking out the most popular game on all of Kickstarter and, lo and behold, the most popular thing on all of Kickstarter. That is Weather Machine by Vitalis Serta and Ian O'Toole. Leverage research and lab experience to address the world's extreme weather dot 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 by Eagle Griffin Games. This has already raised $673,000. Uh, and, and one interesting thing, I think this launched on Wednesday, not on Tuesday, not typically what we see, uh, but it still doesn't seem to change the fact $673,000. Spectacular. Uh, so the first thing that I want to mention is they're leaning very heavily on Vitalis or his name here, obviously. I would still love to see the player link, the time, and the ages on this. And I'm sure the ages is going to be 14 plus, 12 plus, or something like that. But I'd like to know the time and the player count on this. That's always a good thing. A price would be spectacular as well. Good afternoon, Forrest. Hope your day is going well so far. I hope your day is going well uh, as well, Noah. It's going great. I'm, I just did it. Did, I had a very productive day. Very happy with the day. But anywho, I hope you're all having a spectacular day. To address the world's extreme weather conditions in this Euro strategy game. Okay. Uh, just kind of abruptly ends there. I'd like to know what some of the mechanisms we are. I'm going to assume it's work or place. But anywho, these little meeples, they look really good. I love the fact they're spotlighting them. I see a little bit of the board here, but I still don't think this is the best image. I'd like to see the box. I'd like to see the setup. I'd like to see a lot of other things. But as always, when we go to the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. 446. Woo, okay. It's fancy. That's the Vital money. Natural disasters will soon be a thing of the past. Proclaimed Professor Seni Latif, Project Chief of Meteorological Manipulation at Lightning Technologies. Tests of his new invention, the weather machine, showed positive results in controlling natural disasters until it was discovered that for each calamity the machine stops, it creates another storm somewhere else. Dreams of stopping floods and cyclones are now replaced with nightmares of causing blizzards, droughts and tornadoes. The government officials funding his research have turned to you, oh. the professor's assistant scientists, to create new prototypes that will clean up the meteorological mess your mentor made. Latif's legacy is that of a brilliant yet mad inventor, but with the right breakthrough, your work on fixing his mess could bring you accolades and even a Nobel Prize. The race is on to be the first to develop the right technology oh, oh to harness Latif's out of control weather machine. God! That's Vital Asserta right there. And that's everything they're banking on. They're banking on the fact this is a Vital Asserta game. And when you pull out like that, just that is. I want to play that. I want to play that. And I, I, I see the premium quality, I see the thick components, I see the uh, the dual layered boards, I just, I see, wow. Very impressive table up here, here. appeal here. here. Woo. What are the next three minutes? In Weather Machine, you play as assistants to the brilliant but careless Professor Latif. Okay, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Typically, this is where they'd be trying to get you out and they'd go to the video, or get to the, the story section. However, here... They're actually going to go into what looks like a brief synopsis of how the game plays, which I don't know if I like, I don't know if I dislike, I imagine it's it's how they're going to do this, but let me know what you think about this. My eyes just got wider and wider with that, yeah, that was a great shot. Securing government subsidies to acquire the robots, machine parts, and chemicals required to write the crazy conditions that Latif's weather machine keeps creating. The player who gains the most wow. renown oh, from publishing my. papers and creating prototypes wins. Each round, players... Honestly, I didn't even just hear what she said at all because I was just so in just engrossed by these components. Like, this this right here is so well done at showcasing these components. Use their subsidy. And they, I don't even think these are real components. I think this is like a tabletop thing, a tabletop simulator maybe, 3D, whatever. It looks so good. ...and investment capital to set future goals and receive funding. Complete actions at one of the locations on the board and watch Latif run his latest weather machine experiment. And just every 10 seconds, they're like, it's like a breadcrumb of like, oh, I, I, I wow, that looks neat. Oh, wow, that, that looks very different. Oh, whoa, what is this? Oh, whoa, what, what is that? Like, this is just bombarding me. And I like it. I like it. 
which will inevitably create more problems for you to solve. Wait, like, what's this? What's this area? I didn't know this area existed because we started out kind of zoomed out, but now they're like really getting into the weeds and I don't even know what the hell is going on here. Uh, but, but wow, I want to. Like, look, there's, there's a token here and a thing here and a spot there and this and that, and it's just symbology and oh. Like all good science work, we begin by fighting. So we're zoomed out and then we're going to zoom into a different quadrant of the board where we're going to have even more new stuff. Ah, this is, I feel like this is really well done. I don't know if I want it in the main video, I, I, but, but wow, if it's this good, maybe. With your colleagues maybe. over this access so to resources at the supplies location. You can spend your vouchers to construct robots that operate the dangerous experiments and acquire the rare chemicals that fuel them. So robots that are going to essentially unlock more powers kind of feels a little bit like Scythe right there. Uh, I mean, I'm excited. That's all. That's cool. Better get your hands oh. on them before your rivals, because as the supply runs low, your costs go up and all that. Oh, so that's me. That's my that's my little token that, de that delineates. That's me. That's nice. Science stuff takes up space. So make sure you expand your workshop as well. If you're low on vouchers to spend, your next stop should be the government building, where you can sell machine parts to the government for their own weather devices in exchange for useful subsidies and a few vouchers on the side. Awesome. No one likes begging the government for financing, but it's a vital part of the scientific process, at least if you want to keep the bunts and burners on. Okay. So I think I've figured it out in my brain. One thing I always complain about is I think you go too deep into the rules in a video and it's a bad thing. I don't mind it here because we did all, I feel like we did, we had like our first, the video. I feel like that one video was the one minute and 20 seconds. And now if I want to sit through this, it's, it's like, I don't know. I like this though. I like it at the end. I think it's great. Working for the government also allows you to discover new... Because you get that short elevator pitch in and then for the people that really want to hear more about it, they can get into that. You research on each of the weather types, which you'll need if you ever want to discover how to stop the chaotic climate changes. Of course, why wouldn't I? Once yeah. the red tape is out of the way, you'll want to get There's to work more. in Latif's lab, uncovering just how the weather machine is causing these disasters and potentially how to stop it. Assist Latif. I feel like it's just like, hey, hey, look how good of a game designer I am. All this stuff connects together. And you're like, wow, how did you do that? Like, how, how, does, this, how does this come out of one's brain? It simply just blows my mind when I see a game like this. And it's just like, wow. Like, I, I wish I could just step into your brain for a day to see how it works. Steve in his experiments by supplying robots and chemicals to the different branches of his massive machine. At the end of each round, Latif will try to run one of his inventions. And those who help him will gain renown and some insider. One thing I noticed there that I really like, just a little spotlight, just how thematic the board looks there. Like it just, like little extra details here. Just, oh, like look, that's the side of the building and that's the inside of the building and it just looks so good. You've been collecting to publish papers on the different weather phenomena, course, earning the, the fame papers. and coming closer to fixing the climate chaos. Don't have all the research you need. <coughs> you can cite your rival's papers to help finish yours. <laughs> it's not plagiarism if you cite your sources. Finally, there's research and development, where you can use your hands-on experience to counteract Latif's machine and make prototype machines of your own creation. You can research the specific weather types by contributing bots and chemicals, which also gives you additional research you can use to finish more papers. And you'll need published papers if you want to complete a breakthrough, where you create your own prototype machine, which will calm down the inclement weather conditions. It's stretching for, for now. now. It's stretching. If you're successful in building a prototype, you'll be showered in awards, which you can use to complete more papers and could lead to a Nobel Prize. Only the scientist who uses their resources and research most effectively will gain the most climate points and win the game. So win the Nobel. Okay. Wow. Uh, I feel like the last 46 seconds of that was that last plate at the buffet. I was like, that was a really good dinner. And then it just, it just was a little bit too much there. But wow. I love that. We, we got the, the minute 20 elevator pitch. Then we get deep into the weeds on the rules. If you want to see that, I think that's great. Hello, Nicole. Good to see you. So, uh, Eagle Griffin Games. And I gotta say, I, I remember the last one I checked of this, I wasn't the biggest fan of. So I love seeing uh, seeing that video in particular. Because the last one I think was, yeah, Route 66 I wasn't impressed with. On Mars, I don't think I was impressed with. So this one so far looking really good. Now, I don't think this is out. I don't think... So that's three games not out. Or maybe this... Is this a pre-order? 
this is where things get confusing. So as always, we like to check to make sure, uh, you know, they don't have like a million projects out. But wow, this is, this is a lot of stuff right here. Okay, let's check it out. So, Pragmon, is it out? Updates. Wait, I can just look at the shipping date and see. Uh, August 2022. So this is going to be a Gen Con thing. So there's no way this is out. What is this one? This one is. I think this one was before Christmas, if I recall correctly. Uh, I thought completely wrong. It's June 22. So this is like Origins uh origins time run so that one is not out and once again i think this is a couple games i think this is two games so that's five games right there uh this one let's see what are they expecting this one i'm gonna guess it's a big old box this is no way this one's out yeah june so that's six games right there we're up to six games sitting out uh which once again a lot of people want to know that stuff now i will say Eagle griffin games they have tons and tons and tons of games you know they are a a big company in our industry so to speak they have a lot of games so i feel comfortable with it but you know, six games we're getting to, and I'm going to guess that this one, let's see what this one, uh, this one's shipping, February 22, so that one for sure is not out yet, so we're up to seven games. Uh, wow, how, <laughs> holy boy, how deep do we have to go? You know, I feel like it's seven games I can stop. They have more, they have seven games or more that are still pending, so you do need to know that. But they also have a lot of, like, big games, like On Mars, Age of Steam, this sort of thing. So, you decide, I'm not really worried about it. Can you do it as a check mark for me? But I like to, because some people, they really are concerned about that sort of thing, so I like to go into it. So, do I want it? Yes, I do. Like, I've played the Le Vitalis Lacerda games before. I've reviewed one of them, I believe. I like him as a game designer a lot, and I love playing his games. They're not ones that I typically see getting to the table too terribly often, but uh, if I have the right crowd, I'm definitely down for one. But what do I want here? So, do, can, do I want it? Yes. And I feel like if you're, if you're a Vitalis sort of fan, you're immediately interested. I feel like if you are a medium to heavyweight Euro gamer, I think you're immediately interested after that video. I think that video was really, really well done. So, do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? Hopefully, we don't beat around the bush. We get straight to the price. And yes, I know everyone always says it's over here in the uh, it's over here in the side. But just make it easy. Show me the price. I'd love to see a price right here. One to four players. So, 60 to 150 minutes to play. And honestly, this is why I think this should be so important and at the front door. This should be on the marquee at some point because i see a one to four player game i see a one player game that plays in an hour and i say to myself no i'd like to try this as a solo experience as well i say 150 minutes i say that's a game night that's a game night style game i got no issues with that uh but i think it'd be better up front game interview so we're talking about theme we're talking about theme i don't want to hear about theme we talked about theme already here we go pledge levels right into it i like it we didn't beat around the bush too long we got right down to it 129 dollars so here's my first issue i don't like this picture of the box in any way shape or form and i don't i'm not talking about the artwork which i can't even really see how zoomed out it is i don't know the size of this box if i haven't seen other vital Lacerda games because vital Lacerda games has a very distinctive style box they, it looks like because you're like it looks like a pandemic style box right no this is not a pandemic style box this is like a massively bigger pandemic style box it's a big box so when i see 129 dollars, i see premium components i see a massive box i don't think twice about it that is the premium price for these style games so the price i think is reasonable especially if we're hitting the stretch goals and if we're at five hundred thousand dollars, so that is one thing that i don't like here i think the stretch goals should lead me into these pledge levels especially if we've hit some banger stretch goals because 129 dollars, i think is still going to be a lot here's the thing i don't think 129 dollars. most people who know vitalis certain games are going to bad an eye but for the people who do not, for the newer people in the hobby, or the people that just haven't gotten that deep in the hobby yet when they're playing Vitalis sort of games, I, I think $120, I say, wow, oh, this isn't a minis game. Like, this isn't, like, why? That all seems like a lot. So I think you lead with stretch goals here. Uh, so the Kickstarter includes solitaire mode. Great. Uh, I, I, it's a one to four player game. Stretch goals. Great. I'd love to see that zoomed in because if that's like tiles, are we unlocking tiles? We're unlocking tiles. Oh boy, howdy. Those are banger stretch goals. Uh, signed copy. Okay, express copy. Ooh, what is this? So you get one of the first copies? Hmm. I will be very interested to see how popular that is. USA only. That's a fascinating one to me. And then we got components, bolts in the assembly line of a player's laboratory. Looks great. So do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? I think the price is reasonable. I would like to know the shipping. Once again, why? 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 Kickstarter companies around the world. Why couldn't the shipping just be right here? A one-stop shop. I would know exactly how much the cost is and then I could just go down here and I can see quotes and I can see videos and so I can see pictures. But why do we have to bury the shipping at the bottom? I hate it. So we got the long Strexy. Um, gonna have to agree with you. Haven't tried any list sort of games yet, but that price with Deluxe feels like a lot. And it is. You know, they pretty much said that these are premium games. They do. They feel like premium games. They have really nice box inserts, all that sort of thing. But nuts and bolts, you know, $129. It's a lot. It is a lot. 
So rule booklet four player eight books, and that's the other thing as well. And I was going to say something about that in the video. They showed me all the components, but I wanted, to, I was hoping there was a player aid card. And the fact that there's a player aid book, which totally has tons of information, is going to make this a much more smooth and streamlined experience. I think that is something that I would have showcased in the video. I think that would have went a long way to helping convince people, especially after a three minute explanation. Just go, whoa, that was a lot. It's thirty dollars. Uh, it's $30 than any other Lacerda Kickstarter, but Egg just raised all their prices recently. Ah, thank you, Jimmy, for filling me in on that. Uh, so, yeah, it used to be 100 apparently, and now it's even higher. But geez, that's still a lot. That's still 100 I think it's 100 is a lot. Four dual-layer player laboratories, and once again, this is this is the shot that's going to sell me. I've already seen it. I want to see it again. Zoom in. Four scientists, meeple, 48 bots. I think these components are too nice to have them this far zoomed out, especially, especially for the people who didn't watch the video, because some people don't watch the video, and um and i think this is not doing service to the to the components if you didn't watch the video you look at these components you go oh, they're nice they're okay four initiative 15 extreme weather tiles 15 experiment tiles 50 machine 36 goals whatever solitaire game saboteurs by david tercy which i know is a big deal he's a he's a hot name in the solo uh stuff solo rule booklet love to click on that hideout board excellent love to see that priority aid once again love to see that cool security record cards 12 challenge cards stretch goals okay so here we go i think this should be above i think it should be leading down into especially with a price of 129 dollars. i think that's a big ask especially as a lot of people don't know the talus games uh that they're just like super expensive games and eagle griffin games has a history of doing this i've seen i remember they had the daedalus sentence was like a hundred dollar game and they had like this one from glenn drover that was like a hundred and sixty dollar game it was like just massive like uh you know gloomhaven jaws of the lion size box i think it was bigger than that it might have been gloomhaven size but whatever so stretch goals 10 supply cards awesome <coughs> they give each player a unique start to the game replacing the post setup supply face that's spectacular asymmetry love it six private objective cards excellent these additional objective cards give players new goals to reach for and give the player investment tokens for completing them and i complain about a lot of kickstarters for not doing what eagle griffin is doing right here and i want to spotlight it because they're doing great here i see six private objective cards i don't know what that means i don't i watched the whole video i was wowed by the video but that's why i like when you put the sentence here that says oh that's what this actually does i think that is great too many kickstarter companies too many people on kickstarter just assume that i'm going to know what the four doodly dudes are and i was like well i didn't pay that close attention i didn't realize there was going to be a test in the stretch goal area uh and i also don't like the fact that i don't get to see how much this was unlocked at that's always nice it tells me if i need to get excited about more stretch goals so seven hundred thousand dollars in-game goal tiles great and this wow okay uh slap slap on the hand there because you, you realize that this is a great thing to do but then you're like you know what for the in-game goal tiles we're not actually going to tell you maybe they'll tell me when i get unlocked but why wouldn't you tell me right from the jump I just, it just seems odd click here to draft the rule booklet excellent want to click on that uh how many pages how many pages oh this is the uh this is the thing why can't i click on it why isn't it it's, it's not I don't know how to work this. Okay, I'm annoyed. Whatever. I'm sure someone much more competent than me could do that. But it's good. It's their tutorial and playthrough. Excellent. Excellent. It's three hours. So, uh, and hopefully the tutorial is the first post of supply round. Great. It's Paul Grogan. Does an excellent job. Tabletopia. Play it. Try the game now on Tabletopia. Awesome. These are great as well. Like this an awful lot. Previews. Uh, watch this before you back. Weather machine. Okay clickbaity trying something new there okay review and overview let's talk details weather machine playthrough and review i'd like to see quotes from these i don't want to click on any of them oh a full two player playthrough actually i do awesome great uh playthrough great so you got plenty of playthroughs here excellent good stuff is there so you have the how to play at the top it's a full how to play you know it's a three hour one i don't think that's what most people like to see let me know in the comments below do you like the shorter ones do you like the long ones i think most people like the shorter ones um but maybe it's just me and maybe it depends on the game as well. International versions. Weather Machine will be offered in English, German, and Japanese during this campaign. I like the fact they're answering that because that is a very frequent FAQ. We are current and active, yada, yada, yada. Different languages, cool, great. Hungarian backers will be published by great. Brazilian backers, they are so on the ball. Little details like this. These really, can you do it? They just make me feel more comfortable. Like, it's like, okay, they have eight, nine, ten games out pending. Well, they still run like a well-oiled machine. You know, this looks like a very well-ran Kickstarter, I think, for the most part uh add-ons metal machine parts cool seems kind of sprung on right here uh so the weather machine additional copies okay on mars you want to buy the other stuff cool on mars kickstarter edition okay mm. 
I wonder if they're going to be able to bump up their print run based on if they get these or how that works. Our Kanban EV. So they're they're offering a bunch of their stuff. Good. Like it. Lisboa. That's a really good game. Vinhos. Also another really good game. Galaris. Always want to play that one. Uh, and that one. $36. Wow. This is before they went uh, all premium there. I kind of want to play that one now. Okay. So retail backers. Cool. Terms and conditions. Our pledge to backers. Refund policy. Uh, what is it? All pledges can be refunded in full up to 13 days after the end of the Kickstarter campaign. Okay. Uh, if any part of your order cannot be delivered, we reimburse you the full cost of the components of your, your cost of the components of your order, regardless of the update. If you apply a refund more than 13 days after the end, we will be able to refund 80% any purchases made in the pledge manager. Okay, so they have some sort of refund policy. They talk about it there. Wow, this is a this is oh this is play testing. So that's a bunch of play testing, cool solo play testing, and this is this is honestly great. Like, if I saw a first created first back and I get to this section and I see, you know, this people playtesting, just tons of people playtesting, I feel more comfortably immediately. Um, that's a great little touch there. Shipping and fulfillment. Based, and we bury it at the bottom because everybody does. I hate it. We ship your orders en masse to our regional uh, locations. So $18 to $22. Once again, I go back to the fact that, okay, but they do put 9.25 pounds here. I think that was a really good move. And I honestly, if you didn't know what size of a Tal Asserta game was, I think this might be the first thing to be like, oh, wow, nine pounds? Uh, and so I think they really did a disservice showcasing the size of the boxes. Uh, and I know that's such an odd thing, but put it next to something else. Put it next to a, put it next to another Eagle Griffin Games game that, that's a very common one or something like that. 18 to 22, 45 to 65. Ooh, that sucks. 20 to 26, not bad. Where's the VAT? We got VAT information based on the private. We have decided... Not to uh, collect the shipping fees for the plea. We believe this is the fairest and best approach. I just had a glitch in the matrix there. I apologize. We ship your orders on master or region fulfillment. Did they mention VAT? That's all I want to see here. VAT. UK backers will be provided by 20% VAT. So you're going to get jacked by the VAT. What would be really cool is if they add a few of the comments from the playtesters on it as well. That'd be solid as well. Just any, just any quotes. I'd love to see. I haven't seen any quotes about this. What do people like about it? I see there's a bunch of videos there. I see there's a bunch of gameplay videos. I see a bunch of media personalities who played the game. Why not let me know what something say? Oh, wow, I really love the uh, like how everything works together, like blah, blah, blah. You know, just, I think, I think quotes can go very poorly, but I think it's important to have some. Uh, so $1, 753 people. So lots of people on the fence on this one. Or actually, you know what? This might be lots of people buying other Vitalis sort of games in addition to this one or something like that. Okay, that would make sense. All right, what do we got? What do we got? So here's the big one. So... Uh, 165 MSRP, 2,886. So, wow, they almost got a 3,000 print run. Good for them. That is so cool. Uh, awesome. Then we have the weather machine in Japanese. Really? 207. Awesome. In Dutch, 452. This is just express copy. So, 85 people were paying an extra 100 bucks to get one of the 120. Hmm. And that's going to be gone. That's going to be gone by the end of this. And that tells you, like super fans, Vitality Surgeon super fans are like $100 to get his game early. Yeah, count me in. Love it. All right. Signed copies. Those are all gone as well. 500 backers. So that that is just wow. Good for Vitality Surgeon. I want to do the math right there. That is, how much is the game? It's it's 129 So it's six bucks. Okay, what else? Okay. Final grade. Let's get the FAQ, the updates, the comments. Get out of here. Ugh, I hate this. Why number them? Number, like, oh, can I, like, it's just, what, what purpose? And please, let me know if anyone has an answer that I'm just not thinking about. What possible purpose does it serve to number the FAQ? Unless you're going to reference other numbers here. Let me see if they reference, like, oh, check out rule four or three or something. Yeah, they're not referencing these numbers in any way, shape, or form. So why number them? Just do what Reload from Colossal Games does. Do what uh, what, what they did yesterday on the one I checked out. It's going to be the new industry standard. I'm telling you because it's just so nice. You, you order these. Based, this one's shipping. This one's shipping. This one's shipping. Uh, can reference in the comments. How can I purchase add-ons? Is there a discount on shipping when buying multiple copies? What about group buying options? Will there be a playmat of the Weather Machine player board? Wow. We do not currently have any plans. Will backers be charged VAT? You're going to get jacked by the VAT. Last on the FAQ is sad news for the UK. Uh-oh. Why are you charging UK backers VAT? In addition to our US company status, we are also a registered Netherlands company and we import our games. That's very long. Uh, so yeah, 20%. That's going to probably kill that. But let's see. 
the community. I imagine there's going to be next to no new people. Yeah, so 66 as opposed to 4,847. 4, U.S. 2144. Germany 578. So yeah, Vitalis sort of moving the needle all around the world. Excellent. That's that's amazing. I love it. I love the fact we have rock stars in the industry. That's so cool. Sucks though uh, for the U.K. getting jacked on that. That charged two times. Ow. Uh, I like how the double-digit numbers make me think they answered lots of questions and give this area some thought. I like it. Oh, you like it? Number. I'm, I'm still... I don't... Like, I don't see the purpose of it. Like, because I still think the best way to do it is just to help organize it, to make it clean and clear. But, I don't know. Everybody looks at it different. <laughs> so, let's check out the updates. 6, 4, 11. So, not engaging updates. And this this extra annoys me when they do these Vitalis sort of Kickstarters. Because you have 4,913 people here. And these people are not here, most of these people are not here for the game per se. They are here for the name, behind the game, and trusting that this game is going to be as great as its other games. You know what I mean? And so, that means that they're like big fans. Like hardcore fans. You have a huge chunk of people who are paying extra money to have the game autographed or get the game early. $100 to get it early big fans all around the world you're doing print runs all over the place and yet you're not putting engaging updates that are engaging these fatalis sort of fans like this seems like a slam dunk uh but let me know in the comments below what's your favorite vital game or what's your favorite mechanism it, it stretch it out you can do so many things because you know these are people who are vitalis sort of fans uh could be i like how it could be a formatting thing on the organization level formatting can be a nasty thing i'm just guessing now though yeah and it's and it's really odd it is just a guess because different companies do things differently and it's i would love to do a, a video i've thought about doing this before where i, I sit down with one of my uh, my buddies that, that's in the industry and i watch a kickstarter critique with them and they respond to the kickstarter critique and like explain everything and like i think that would be so fascinating i'm gonna talk to peter about this next time i'm gonna talk to Lane. i, 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 I want to do that let me know if you think that would be an interesting concept featured preview okay take the preview don't care what else Hmm, in-game goals. Will there be tiles for out-of-game goals? I'll vote for a remodel the bathroom tile in that case. It is an in-game as opposed to end-of-the-game goals. Okay, so there's someone, someone commenting on the stretch goal. This is a mega fan. If you pledge from France now, could you get the add-on? Just add $19 and hope for the best. Thank you. Please contact Philbert. Express your interest in adding the metal machine parts. More stuff is always a good thing. Yay. <laughs> okay. So, but I will say, they're trying to churn this. They're responding to every single one of them. So I do like that. But I think always end with a question. Hopefully, and and I will say this. I, I typically say, don't put too focused of a question. But with this Vitalis Serta crowd, you might, you might want to break that rule and say, what's your favorite Vital game? Or what's your favorite game with this mechanism? Or what's your favorite uh, game involving weather? Anything like that. So let's check out. This one has 11. I'm excited, love it, but two comments. Some images seem out of place, like the chemicals and supply underneath the reward tiers. Would love to see a description of the in-game goal tiles on the stretch goal. Watching the entirety of the How It Play playthrough prior to launch in this game just seems awesome. While I anticipate this game, they sold me on it. So and that's and that so that's even someone else saying, hey, I love that you gave me so much information. Is that Sean? I think that's Sean. I think I actually have, uh, I think he does, he used to do custom game boxes, if that's the same Sean. If not, well then i apologize i don't need to apologize say ha sean's not gonna say it's slanderous that i said he makes cool boxes that'd be odd anyway continue would you love to see a description the, so he's saying he would actually like a little bit more information in the stretch goal area and i agree with him the more the better like stretch goals it's like oh this is all house you know extra icing on the cake we will have some photos of the game spread through the campaign we will discuss them more as the campaign progresses interesting Thank you so much. Very excited to get this one on my table. Curious question. On Mars Base Game, ran on Kickstarter for $81. Now just two liters later, weather machine is not is $40 more. <coughs> Demand. The components for each game are quite different, so they're asking about the prices, different things like that. But once again, what I'm seeing here is um, them in the comments. I'm seeing good customer service, which I like. Any anyone could anyone could figure out what the shipping costs are for adding extra games. It's shipping more than one copy of the game together is cheaper than shipping two games individually. This rate depends on the total weight of the shipment. Okay. But once again, I'm seeing them being good customer servicey here. Green, green. Wait, where's the green? Where's the green? It looks like they have one person doing it at a specific time of day, potentially. Oh, no. This is just so busy. Hmm. Let's see. Are these questions? So 600 keys. So 600K raised and we got two stretch goals. So that's someone saying not happy with the number of stretch goals. And I would agree as well. And that I actually it was like, wow. Uh, so, uh. 
hundreds because they're at like a lot like so i don't know we're all aware or should be of the price increase for freight shipping of the price geez people choose another hobby the whole stretch goal system is so artificial these days spot on stretch goals are meaningless in most campaign so we got some chit chat going on here so i understand why eagle griffin games was like you know what we'll just let that duke that out there looks awesome read the rules and took it okay so final grade on this one do i want it yes can you do it yes i feel comfortable how much is it it's a premium price for a game i'm not gonna lie me personally as a consumer you know lower middle class too much for a game for me just too much but that's more of a subjective thing on you but i will say this is not their first rodeo and there's a reason why vitalis Serta has mega fans and that's because he consistently puts out great games so with that and saying i would say i'd put give this one a i think a b plus i think that's fair price is high but i understand why you got vitalis Serta in your eye uh that was weird but let me know in the comments below what is your grade for this one i must say i i, I really did like this especially that video i think that I, I i really like the fact that they got the the important stuff out of the way minute 20 then just straight into like the nuts and bolts but let me know in the comments below what you thought of this kickstarter give me a grade and as always thanks for your time youtube wait what are you most excited about and the least excited about for this game let the developers know what they are doing well and what they need to fix it's like a free server they can add in the updates i agree i agree and yeah, even if you just ask them, like, how do you think we're doing this Kickstarter? Like, do you have any suggestions of ways that you think we could creatively promote this? Like, any little things like that. Bring them in, because these these mega fans, they want to see this game uh, do really well. As always, thanks for joining.